Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 18th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Pisces, if you're seeking a psychic reading, JackieTomlin.com will find a link below this video. This is a week of endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. All of that going on at once. It's going to be emotional, and it's a new emotional cycle. Uh, there is some kind of celebration, outing, or date night. Uh, be warned of being used by someone. There are new doors opening up for you. A lot of positive thoughts and a lot of sudden changes, okay? Your drive for success is very high, and some uh, secrets will be revealed. Also, um, an unexpected gift, like physical gift, like gift of flowers or something like that, could be coming into play. So, Pisces, this is your week of October 18th. 2021 don't forget this is the last day of retro but it takes a couple days to shake that ick off so pisces first card up next significant new beginning will be spring of next year lovers you are strong and love this week no matter if you are coupled or if you're single and we have the six of wands and six of wands is wonderful energy this says total victory and total success uh, some of you will be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by, and some of you actually have an audience. The Eight of Wands, indicating total happiness, total contentment, and those love arrows flying around in the center of the reading. We have the King of Swords. This could be a Libra that resonates with some of you. This is someone with a sharp tongue, someone who may kind of lash out at you. I don't see a confrontation, but you do need to know his presence. The Hangman says that you guys are feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, that there's no movement. That is not the case for you guys here. It's asking you to be still. When you're still, you actually get the clarity and confirmation that you're seeking. And we have the Page of Cups, Pisces, appearing in Pisces. First of all, it's an unexpected offer of love, but what does Pisces and Pisces mean? It means you're stubborn. You don't want to listen to reason this week. So remember that, uh, however it will resonate. And we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands says there's been a lesson well learned. And not only has the lesson been well learned, you're waiting for your ship to come in. And with that, we have the King of Wands. Now, this could be an Aries energy that may resonate with some of you. But this is you taking authority. This is you being true to yourself. This is you saying, I've done A, B, and C, so now we're going to stop and we're going to do X, Y, and Z. Okay, but it, overall, it's you being true to yourself. So let's go a little bit further with these messages and start up there with the new beginning in the spring. And what do we have going on here for my Pisces? I have the Three of Cups, unexpected celebration, and yes, I still want to use that word unexpected on this. Okay, on the Lover's card, I have the Ace of Wands. That's saying there's a new beginning. The new beginning in love is this week of the 18th. On the Six of Wands is the Four of Cups. Unexpected offer of love. Coming in again. That's here twice. And for some of you, when I said there's an audience or that you're surrounded by people that you're not normally surrounded by or some type of event, for some of my singles, that's where this unexpected offer is going to take place at. On the Eight of Wands, I have the Queen of Cups going back to the love life, okay? Now, the Queen of Cups is saying, open your heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Also, a Scorpio may or may not resonate here. On the King of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles. Something's going to occur that's going to restore your financial balance, okay? Now, you might not feel that right here the week of the 18th, but by the end of the month, you're actually going to be able to help someone else out financially. So that's going to be a pretty big deal. And on the hangman energy, I have the five of coins, counting your blessings. Two blessings coming into my Pisces this week. One is spiritual, one is financial. And on the Page of Cups energy, I have the King of Pentacles. Gemini energy, this is also um, hmm, financial stability at its highest, okay? And on the Three of Wands, I have the Two of Swords. 
time to make decisions you guys have been putting off and for a lot of you i'm going to say you might be backed on a corner to make these decisions because you put them off for too long and on that king of wands energy i have the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles working gaining raises promotions bonus checks commission checks center of the reading bonus love how this ended the hermit Hermit is very simple that no matter what kind of scatter energy you have going on, dig down deep and have that knowing because that hermit says no matter what occurs this week, no matter how scattered or chaotic the energy is, you guys are on the right path. That's all you need to know. Thank you guys for watching. JackieTomlin.com for Psychic Readings. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you soon. Bye.